So this is the uh, code.org lesson two intro to HTML. So what we're going to look at, we're starting at bubble four on this one. Uh, obviously you would have completed what's before this. And what bubble four basically asks us to do is to look at HTML coding for the first time. I realize that you have no clue what any of this really means, uh, but it's just asking you to explore and then use this inspection tool. And the inspection tool is kind of neat because you can highlight a piece of code and uh, in the right side and it'll show you the coding on the left side that corresponds with that piece of coding. So we can see how they made this was this uh, P, P uh, here, and then the coding in between. And we're going to talk about exactly how or what's involved in this coding now. So I'm going to go jump ahead to the practice one. Again, skipping the videos for something you can watch on your own time. Now, as we're in bubble six, a few things to notice, your instructions and your tips will always be on the top right here. It'll tell you what you exactly you need to do. Uh, I can drag up and down here to make my workspace larger or the instruction bar larger. Uh, whatever I need to do for my project. Uh, so what you're going to see on this, we're going to talk a little bit about what's occurring down here. So the first piece of code that we can see right here is we have an open angle bracket and a closed angle, uh, angle bracket. Now what you're going to notice in HTML is this is what's called a tag, what occurs in between those angled brackets, an open one and a closed one. So what we have is the document type. So we're telling the computer that we're going to be using or speaking the language HTML. So what we can see here is we have an open HTML tag, meaning we have an uh, open angle bracket HTML, closed uh, angle bracket. And then at the bottom of this, you're gonna see we have that same bracket but this time it has a backslash. If it's open angle bracket backslash HTML, then closed angle bracket, that is a complete tag. So I have an open tag and a closed tag. For 99% of HTML coding, you're gonna have an open tag and a closed tag. So everything in between this open tag and closed HTML tag, HTML tag is going to be uh, look, the computer is going to be looking for HTML language. So you're going to see here we have an open head tag and a closed head tag. This is a place that we're going to store um, metadata. And we'll talk about this more specifically when we get to using the actual uh, tag. And then we can see here that we have a body tag. That's an open body tag and a closed body tag. The majority of our programming in HTML is going to occur between these two tags, the body tags. So what they're asking for in this problem is for you to simply write three sentences. I'm just going to go hello. I know these aren't sentences. Good morning. Goodbye. And you're going to notice that they all form together here in one string. No matter what I did with my uh, enter key to create spacing. And that's because a Word document or Google document, they have rules set forth by the programmer. All we've said is we're going to type these words in the body of our website, but we haven't set any rules on what they should look like or how they should be formatted. So what we're going to do is we're going to carry this over into bubble seven. Now that we're in bubble seven, what we're going to learn is about the paragraph tag. So if I go open angle bracket, P, closed angle bracket, and then that's my paragraph tag. And if I go open angle bracket, uh, backslash, P, closed angle bracket, and what we're going to notice is that paragraph rule has been applied to that hello statement now. And what a paragraph does, it offsets them by a return line in your coding. So if I apply that same tag to my good morning section, we can see 
that it sets 